time, a new challenge. The warriors have all been summoned. Summoned to do battle. Some will find glory. Some will find defeat. The time is here. The time is now. Welcome to the real Frozen Tundra. This is University of Kentucky Hockey on the UK Hockey Network. And now, your hosts, Aaron Rose and Jason Griefer. Gentlemen, welcome to another exciting night of hockey here in the Bluegrass as the Kentucky Wildcats look for the sweep of the Cincinnati Bearcats. I'm Jason Griefers. Joining me for the time being is videographer extraordinaire Scott Keelan. Aaron Rose will be along in just a moment. He had to head up from southern parts of the state, parts unknown, shall we say, Scott. But uh, Cats uh, rebounding. Coming off a nice 7-4 win, a sloppy, actually, 7-4 win. I was there last night up in Cincinnati. Not the best ever we've seen out of the Wildcats, but nonetheless, a win is a win. And so the Cats have upped their record to 6-0 on the season. And looking for the sweep tonight. Scott, not quite the crowd we're used to seeing out here. Good call. Football cats, unfortunately, coming up just a bit short tonight. Falling to the Auburn Tigers at the gun, 37-34. Randall Cobb once again did everything. And I believe had all four touchdowns the cats scored. But uh, like you said, Scott, fans slowly trickling in. Looks like we'll have another good night of action. A scrappy Cincinnati team that I saw last night. Very physical, very fundamental. And uh, for the cats, it was. Dylan Rohar, the star of the night, having a hat trick last night, including one on a penalty shot, which is something you don't see very often, Scott. Much, much closer contest than perhaps the Cats. The Wildcats, I should say, would have wanted last night. Kentucky blew it open in the second period, got out to a 7-2 lead, and played rather sloppily in the third. Some bad penalties, a couple of soft goals allowed by Jim Borgard, and it wound up 7-4 your final. Nonetheless, the Cats get the win, and in six games, they've outscored their opponents by a combined score of 66-12. So the Wildcats right now averaging an 11-2 margin. And I would imagine that the crowd they have behind here tonight will hopefully get some energy back in them. They played a little lethargic last night, much the same way they did with, against Louisville on Thursday. If you weren't able to catch the final score of that one on Thursday in Louisville, the Wildcats destroyed the Cardinals 17-2 in a game that really was not that close. Had the Cats played to their best capabilities in the first period, it could have been perhaps 20 goals or more. So that's where we stand tonight. Yes, 6-0. 6-0 the Cats are after an opening weekend sweep of Eastern. Uh, the following weekend, last weekend, going down to Kennesaw State in Atlanta and sweeping Kennesaw State. We actually have highlights of that match, of that series, I should say, and we'll hopefully have those up on YouTube this coming week. Coach Doherty kind enough to get us a highlight tape of all the uh, goals. And uh, Aaron Rose has made it here, fighting through the, re the wrestling show tonight, he announced, and uh, the football traffic. And Scott, thank you very much. Aaron, welcome to the Ice Center. Hi. Sound a little tired there. Uh, just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Uh, came in from London, Kentucky. Big pro wrestling event out there that night. Well, it's got everything set up, and I think we're ready to go. Sounds like it. <laughs> Whew. I, 
thanks to uh, Scott for coming in late and uh, bailing me out as far as helping to get all of the uh, equipment set up and what have you. There is popping. There is popping. Okay. Get our levels fixed. There we go. There we go. A little bit better. Is that better? <laughs> I can hear you. There we go. Woo. There it is. I've been looking for that chat the entire time. But uh, just recapping the uh, game last night, Cats are very, as if I was in constant communication with you all night getting you the updates. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. As to uh, what was going on the entire night. And it looks like a smaller crowd is... Uh, Scott pointed out because of the uh, football game tonight, but uh, but we'll probably see that crew uh, starting to come in a little bit. Yeah, in just a few minutes. Game ended rather late here in Lexington. Oh, just under an hour ago, actually, or just about an hour ago, I should say. Is it now? Strikes midnight here in Lexington on the East Coast. Disappointing, uh, disappointing moment as uh, Auburn kicks the winning field goal. Against Kentucky with no time left on the clock. Yep. Negates a uh, another, uh, as I mentioned, night at the office for Randall Cobb. He had all four touchdowns that Kentucky scored. Two on the ground, one in the air, and one throwing. But uh, hopefully the Cool Cats can carry some of uh, Randall Cobb's energy and emotion here tonight to... Uh, Get the sweep of the Cincinnati Bearcats and take a look at their starting lineup. Number 12, Jake Bonta. Number 18, that is Matt Bishop. Number 27, that is Kyle Fitzpatrick. Number four, which is John Korst. And in net number 35, Steve Kelzuski. He was actually, Kelzuski was the backup tender last night and was put in after the starting goaltender for Cincinnati, allowed four first period goals. Kelzuski played actually quite well. Kentucky got a number of chances that they normally convert on, but Kelzuski was up to the task. As the starting lineup for Kentucky, Dylan Rohart gets to start tonight. He had a hat trick last night, as I mentioned, included a, which included a penalty shot, which he made look rather easily being Kelzuski. Tony Woodward gets a start tonight on the forward line. I had a chance to talk to his father last night. He believed that Tony Woodward played Division Three up in Boston last year. Sean Warmall also in the starting line tonight, but uh, Tony Woodward's father saying that he has a 16-year-old son who might be better than Tony at this point. And he's trying to Is get, he trying to coerce him to he, come he's, to the he's recruiting, he's telling, <laughs> he's telling Coach Rob Dockerty to take a look at this one. Jay Morgan and Pat Whitman on defense starting out. Jim, Jim Borgard gets a start again oh, tonight. Speaking of Whitman, uh, later on tonight, looks like we may be joined by Sean Whitman. That's right. So Indeed. we'll try to get a few words with him. As we now pause for the National Anthem. from one rowdy night to another as I come from <laughs> London from a wrestling event to a University of Kentucky hockey game. And during this uh, wrestling event, we actually had to deal with a couple fans getting into the ring.